Stream stream. Delicious. Oh. How about you? Uh, give me a second to start up OBS. It's still starting. That yeah, there we go. I'm glad it didn't hit stream and hit, you know, streaming on every single platform I can manage. <laughs> right, restream. Uh, let's hope restream works this time. Oh yeah. Because like, I fed it up to here with this bullshit. We've been uh, having some problems with restream, so you might want to sign into Picardo. Oh. Like that's a good call. Like completely missing messages entirely. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, the oh, last shit. night on Twitch, not last, last stream when we were doing it with Mike, I could not, I, Restream was not displaying Twitch's messages and it kept telling me that, kept on connecting, but no connection. Hmm. But I was streaming on Twitch, but it, right. the Restream just did not display chat. All right. So, everyone ready? Let me take a look if I'm connected to Picardo. I'm already yes, streaming, okay. so yes. <laughs> Green across the board and ready to roll. All right, so let's go proper live in three, two, one. And hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Palm Rock and Roll stream. This time we're on with me again. I'm back from vacation and uh, more awful than ever because I stink like a fucking pig. Welcome to the Palm Rock and Roll stream, the stream of three idiots and maybe some art. I am joining Mike. Yeah, you're goddamn right, you're joining me. Yeah. And delicious this time around. Welcome to the stream, boy. My life has been shattered and I have no funny phrase. <laughs> I'll take that. I say, yay, Lou is back. Oh, yeah, yeah that too. Yay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, wait, microphone is muted. Can we start again? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so, the stream without smell of vision. Oh, thank God. Also, welcome to the stream, OT. Hey, long time no see. It's been ages, girl. <laughs> Speaking of it, it's been ages. I've been working hard this past two weeks, believe it or not. At least at work. Said. Yeah, at least at least for the first week. And got me a new book. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Thanks. And. This beauty right here, hardcover, yeah, <laughs> almost 260 pages of piece of me goodness, which will be available at the next Comic Con. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Anyways, what did I miss while I was gone? Uh, do you want all the details, or is there something I could keep under the cover? I share whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Dot, dot, dot. I have a new wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> waiting no. for it. No. I, I discarded all my wife. I kept only one this time. You I have found my one and only. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes, because I clocked over 600 hours on her, and I figured, eh, why not? Well, all right, so your only wife for now is... Tra is uh... He's going to mess it up, I just know it. Hang on up. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, Lou, you can do it. I've been... Actually, no, I don't think I've been talking a lot about it. Uh, <laughs> I give it a try. Calculating. <laughs> uh, Extrapolate. Fuck, what, 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 what's her name? Mercy? Yes, he knows. He nails it. Good. There you go. Awesome. Angela Ziegler. Oh, there you go. Finally, he settled for one. I decided that she will be one and only wife because I clocked over 600 hours with her. The only wife I've spent so much time with. No one else. Well, I figured, actually... I'll, just, I'll just keep the others on the side, you know? <laughs> so you said until exactly. all of a sudden you're like, you know what? Change of mind going back. 25 yeah. days? Really? Calculator! Uh, let's see, 600 hours divided by 25, that's uh, 24 days. Well, 24, 24, 25, 24. A couple of hour difference. But yes, uh, almost a month. Oh yeah, speaking of hours collected into games. Yeah, yeah, Dark Souls 3 is sitting at a comfortable 632 hours now. Wow. Yay. Good lord. <laughs> and it's going to send in a couple of more hours once I start making them builds you've been recommending me. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Some PvP. I'm working on a new one actually. <laughs> Even better. We're gonna compare our store great swords. Yeah, it's, it's it's probably gonna center around the Lothric Knight Gracer, but let, let's not get into this because it's pretty boring for everyone else. Is it now? Yeah, I I figured. Who has that time? Uh, hmm. More than two hundred in the game who has the time. Well, apparently I do. Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, that's still. I mean, Overwatch is practically the only game I've been playing lately. That and sometimes Dark Souls Three. Mm. Everything else, it's kind of just sitting there. Gathering dust. Oh yeah, or, same. Thing, or digital thing, dust. The only thing I've put that many hours into, like uh, game-wise, would probably be Team Fortress Two, and that's only seven hundred. Mm. That's never like quite a long span because I don't play, you know, that much. I mean, yeah. If there was a if there was a in-game clock across the board, I maybe Sonic Three would come close because since I've you know I've had that game since you know the nineties. Yeah. Running in the nineties. I'm pretty sure the second most played game on my end is actually Binding of Isaac Rebirth, with uh, like 400 hours. Hmm. Not bad. Which that is really surprising to me. I'm gonna boot up Steam. So if I robot out, I apologize. Nice. Nice. Uh, Lego City, Xenoblades Two, and I play call a game called the Riptide Overdrive, which is a jet ski racing game, post apocalyptic setting. That's about it. Lego. No, I think I think I played Lego. I did have Lego City Racer. I did have that today. I remember. I don't think I ever had. Lego oh, Racer. I remember Lego Racer. Yeah. I, I freaking. That was a bit chank. Uh, it, it had its moments. Yeah, I mean the the car building was pretty entertaining and shit, but oh, it was yeah. definitely a, bit, a little bit on the uh, on the chanky side. Eh, true. True. Leg race was fun on 64. I had the PC version. Yeah, I, I had it on the N64. I wish I liked um, Xenoblade Chronicles, but I tried, tried, and couldn't get into it. The combat just really didn't gel with me. Hmm. It had like I don't know how to explain it. Like I, I like my combat to have a lot of crunch to it. Hmm. And I also like to have some kind of some control over it. And Xenoblade is like, it's fairly passive especially in the beginning like the, you could do you wind up doing i don't know how to explain it. it's like the characters auto attack like for like their regular attack so you're just kind of like waiting for like a gauge to build and then you wind up doing skills and stuff but yeah i think i put in like seven hours and i was just kind of like yeah i'm gonna move on all right mm, to each their own amen brother did you Indeed. Wind up getting Octopath Traveler, by the way, uh, Spike. Since that's the latest game craze I've been uh, hearing about. The what now? Octopath, Octopath Traveler. Traveler. It's uh, kind of like a really old school JRPG, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's um, made by the guys who made Bravely Default. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And published by SquareSoft, the guys who continuously say that turn-based strategy. Uh, not turn-based strategy. Turn-based RPGs are uh, dead, and uh, you don't want them, and they're stupid and smelly, and uh, you keep saying that, but yet they keep putting out ones that do really, really well to the point where they can't keep up with sales. Yep. Must be an oversight. <laughs> must be. I mean, these fans, you know, the Switch owners must, must just be retarded. I mean, didn't they hear? <laughs> no one likes turn-based RPGs. Square said that they're old and bad. God. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, considering there are people who think they're this flat and Australia doesn't exist. You know what would be a great game for the Switch? Dark what Souls. Is that, is that coming no. out? No. Such a, such a shame that it's never going to come out. No, okay, no. Let, saw... let us not expose the kids to this brutality just yet. Let them hit 17 at least. Okay, hold on. You do know that Dark... Yeah, that was sarcastic. You do know that Dark Souls Remastered has been announced for the Switch and is nowhere to be seen still. Okay, yeah, Wait, that's really? what I was wondering, because Jim Sterling yeah. said that, and I was like, like, Dark Souls should come to the Switch. I'm like, wait, did, wasn't it supposed to be out? Like, It was supposed to be out May 25th. <laughs> Notice something? Uh... Hold on. 
I'll go to Best Buy. Let me see Sonic Best Buy. Uh huh. Let's let's see. This if I recall correctly, that is. But I'm pretty sure May 25th was the announced uh, release date. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Amiibo. They also released a Solar Amiibo. Yeah. I remember now. I mean, they they planned on doing that, but the, that one's still not to be seen. Ah, I don't so see. I could... Get it released a Monday, December 31st. That's a hell of a fucking delay. What, Socket. December 31st? No. That's what it says. Get it? Like, proper, probably release date for uh, for the game? That's what it says. I'll look on uh, Amazon real quick to see if there's any difference. Why? Where did the May 25th come from that I've got in mind? Well, no, I, I think it did get pushed back. It's out in it's out in a few days. All right, okay. It's still got delay like tremendously. N not that I'm mad about it, mind you. I mean, it, it, I don't care. I don't. I don't have a switch. And Dark Souls Remastered is like the greatest crime that anyone could have done to Dark Souls. But well, it's meh. good for consoles, from what I've heard. But uh, are you sure yeah. it's coming in a few days? Because I just checked Amazon and December twenty eighth. So everyone's saying December. December? Wait, this year? Uh, no yeah, way. Yeah, December 28, 2018. There's handheld Switch footage out already? Yeah, well, hasn't it been out forever now? I don't know. I, I gotta look this up. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm just trying to... Like, I, I thought it was out. Uh, apparently it wasn't. And then now it's December, but it's actually in a few days? What? What's, what is going on? Nobody knows. The now the console seen. peasants. Now the console peasants know how I feel about Monster Hunter or any other port, console port to the PC. Oh yeah. Are now you, you know the pain. Hunter? Are you gonna get Monster Hunter or are you gonna be was, getting that much later? I was, yeah, I was just about to say that the the console crowd had Dark Souls way before the PC crowd did it. But yeah, you were talking about something else entirely. Broly! Are you getting Monster Hunter? Uh, nah, the, the hype is lost on me. God damn it's, it. It's gone. It's gone. Plus, I'm pretty you sure were... all my friends who touched the game was already done with it. I'm Here's the thing, you, you would not have you you wouldn't have gotten it uh because of the hype either. You, you would have you would have been ew, what ew no, the game is hyped way too much. You no. I know you. You just like a librarian, dick. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> See? Don't but you? even but even if so, still the game is long gone for the PC. Because everyone all my friends had consoles, they played it, so there's no point in me getting that game because everyone's already touched it, been there, done that. Completed that fuck out of at this point, I'm pretty sure. I mean that, that, that game's dead. Lou, hey Lou, did, did yeah. you hear someone just recently say that they were gonna get Moss Hunter for PC? Did you, did you I I think I heard someone. I don't know if it was someone in New York, America somewhere around there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you were uh, thinking about getting it. Oh, that's right. I said that just a second ago. Yeah, and also I'm pretty sure I was get. Uh, I was thinking about getting it. Nice. Are we, are we not your friends then? Relations. Is that what is is that what you're saying, you dick? <laughs> Maybe, but my <laughs> in my experience, in my experience. Uh, something's gonna happen, and no one's gonna be have the time or the place to play that game. Mm. If, if I get it, that is, if I get it, because that's how the universe works. As soon as I get it, oh, sorry, I got this thing coming up. Uh, I can't play it. Maybe another time, cousin. I'm like, son of a bitch. And then I'm stuck playing either a player single com player campaign or just sitting there jerking off to it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I, I know it. this is how the universe works for it, so I'm not gonna get a Monster Hunter. Fuck that shit. All right, well, you're lost then because. Yeah. See, I've been I've been waiting for this game for a while now. Like my friend said, he was gonna get it for me for my uh for Christmas or my birthday last year, and he finally <laughs> yeah. he was like, come up with it. He's like, hey, can I get it for you? I'm like, sure. God damn it. Yeah. Sure thing if it comes out, or when it comes out. Delayed to December twenty twenty. <gasps> yeah. Seriously? No. Oh yeah, that, that was Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh god. 
I don't want that to come out at this point. Like, just... No. Squaresoft doesn't know how to fucking make a game anymore. Well, Squaresoft themselves don't know how to make a game anymore. Their studios seem to, like, um, as I just mentioned, uh, Octopath Traveler. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of RPGs... Oh. Well, motherfucker, I'm playing, <laughs> uh, Tales of Zillia New Game Plus. So, action RPG, I'm in this final dungeon you can only play on New Game Plus. And I finally get to the end boss, and he's like, I'm a motherfucking badass. I'm like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. And I'm on hard, the hardest mode, uh, mind you. So it's yeah. been kind of a slog in terms of everyone having boatloads of HP. So mm. I start fighting this, this son of a bitch, and I'm like, okay, this is going pretty well. It's a little weird that he's got the same moves as one of my characters, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I kill him, uh -oh. he immediately gets back up, has full health, and then spawns another one, and they ha- uh, that also is another character mimicking one of my characters. I'm like, oh, I can't win this. This is fucking impossible. <laughs> oh, I might have to lower the difficulty. I mean, that's JRPGs for you. Not only are they bullet sponges, but they're full of bullshit. Well, this is an action one, and they're not. It's not typically, you know, spongy in that regard. It's just that I have a Jack to Nightmare difficulty, where I think they want you to have the secret weapons that you have to beat the game and the secret dungeon to get. Mm. These are weapons that power up with every kill that you get, and uh, yeah, I don't have access to. It. Well, I have the weapons, but I don't have access to their true potential. So I have to. <laughs> I have to lower the difficulty, or otherwise this is going to be... Because it took, like, half an hour to, to beat one of them. Mm. And I have six characters on my team total. Only four in the battle. <laughs> oh my god. So it's either going to be a four, 4v4 four four or 4v6, four and in either case, that's going to be too much. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, that, that's, what I, that's what I do not like about JRPGs. They're grindy as all fuck. They ex expect you to grind. Uh, uh, it, I, I do not enjoy that. It really depends on the game. This one you don't yeah, have yeah, yeah. to. But this is this is again. This is I do this to myself. I have it on the hardest mode, the hardest yeah. mode. So there's there's normal mode. There's hard. Uh, there's one more. And then, and then there's fuck there's you. <laughs> yeah. Then there's unknown, which is just like, yeah, you're gonna get your shit pushed in. But here's the thing: <laughs> when you beat the game, you can stack. Uh, you, you could you could buy things with uh with the points you earned in the game, uh, for like um how do I explain this? You could buy certain things like uh double experience and then five times experience, and you could combine both of those to get ten times experience, and then oh damn! In the actual game, you can you buy food that will increase the amount of experience based on the percentage you get in uh you know in the battle. So you can stack that too. So you get hundred percent plus two you know, you know plus the times two. Plus the times five. So, mm -hmm. you, there's really no need to grind in this. In fact, you can just say, like, fuck it, I want to keep my levels. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I play it on easy, I don't have to, the time to invest a gazillion hours. Yeah. And I just play it in spurts, that's how I get through these, uh, certain JRPGs. That's why, um, handheld JRPGs are fucking great, because you're just like, all right, standby mode. Come back to you later. Mm hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's like the uh, handheld consoles were made for this kind of game. Oh yeah. It's it was uh, how I beat a couple of JRPGs uh, somewhat recently. It's just mm. I could stop whenever I wanted, immediately resume exactly where I was. And I can't complain about that. That's why Octopath Traveler is looking. Fairly tempting. Hmm. I only know that uh, video game donkey ter uh, tore it a new one, but then again, he does not enjoy turn-based combat, so I'll take that as you will. Yeah, I see, I see that from uh, a couple people who just get like upset at it. It's like, just don't buy it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. No, he's he, he just. He just gave his opinion on it. It's like, yeah, well, people were asking me to uh, to review this, so there you go. I don't like it. Period. There we go. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. I have no problem. So please, it's basically, 
All right, here's here's my opinion. So please shut the fuck up about it now. I would like to get back to work. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Switch is freaking amazing, Spike. I, I even though I was freaking you know suspicious and critical about it, I was just like, holy shit, this thing's exactly what I've been asking for. I was hoping the Vita would be <laughs> this. The Vita and the PSP should have been this because the v, uh, the PSP had like a video out option, but it's like Ooh. you had to be, uh, you had to be in the options menu the main uh, OS menu, to activate it. So you'd have to drop out of your game to do it. It's like, ah, uh, you were so close. Mm. You weren't supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> and the Vita had proprietary memory cards. Yeah, videos. fuck that noise. Uh, God, that fucking piece of shit. God damn it. I still like the PSP, but it just mm. failed on that one front for me so hard. I hear that. Hmm. Yes, really. Nah, no, just thinking. Uh, also, speaking of finishing games, I managed to get a different game in this uh, this holiday because I figured I should make it a habit to finish at least one game a month. Like, one new game a month that I haven't played already. Okay, go on. So, I've already I've filled my quota for July, and in August I'm going to finish another one. So, the game that, I've, uh, that I played and finished in, like, two or three sittings, I think, Drumroll was... Drumroll is? It's Deadly Tower of Monsters. I've never heard of it. It's pretty... It's pretty freaking cool. Uh... So basically, what it is, it, it, it's, uh, it's a top-down twin-stick shooter, more or less. Okay. With a very distinct 60s, 70s B-movie schlock, uh, schlock sci-fi movie vibe to it. And it nails the looks and the feel of those movies, like, spot on. It looks exactly as you would, as you would expect, like, flying objects have... Uh, uh, flying objects ha have the uh, fishing line visible that, that, that they would dangle uh, the stuff in front of the camera of. <laughs> That's funny. And all of that, all of that crap. Like all the all the monsters look like either uh, either people in really bad costumes where you can literally see the zipper at the back sometimes, Excellent. or it's or or they or they are animated in such a way that they look like stop motion toys or stop motion clay figures and all of that shit. It's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. It looks fantastic. And the whole shtick is like uh, as you play the game, there's also this uh, there's also the the director of that awful awful movie. Like the acting, the, uh, the voice acting is so bad, but it's intentionally bad like like they like they would be in uh in those movies or how they would have been in, mm -hmm. in those really cheap awful movies and he uh and he's basically the narrator recording a um recording a what's it called a director's commentary of that movie as it oh. plays and it's it's really charming it's such cool it's such a cool game Pretty short too. Like if you've got five hours to kill and want to give a cool top-down shooter a try, that's got a very charming, uh, it's got a very charming look and feel to it, and it's a neat gameplay. It's, it's also got a, a little bit of backtracking, a la uh, Metroidvania, where you get new uh, get new abilities that open up new paths. Uh, have to have to go back to open up new paths and all of that all of that shit. It's also got a, a a really big degree of verticality to it. You're literally climbing a giant ass tower. Oh, hence the name. And mm -hmm. yeah, if, if you wanna, if you have a couple hours to kill and see it on on sale or something, I I can I can kind of recommend it. It's cool. It's really cheap. it's really neat. Sadly, I'm not into top down shooters. You and me are goddamn opposites in so many things. I mean. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it. I mean, yeah, it is top down shooter to some extent. It's also got a couple. Uh, it's also got melee, uh, melee combat, and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's. I don't know. It 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 blends a couple genres together. But yeah, at least give it a look and see how it and see how it looks and how it feels because it's 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 kind of one of a kind. I will have to give it a look. 
Uh, just make sure yeah. you fire a link over because I'm not going to remember the name because names are hard and. Who are you? Oh, yeah. What? Nothing, I was making a joke. Uh, damn you. Damn you with your witticisms. This would be much uh, better. Yeah, I can. I can send you this one. In case anyone's interested. So yeah, uh, Deadly Tower of Monsters gets a solid thumbs up from me. It's a cool game. Noise. Noise. Also, it's it's regularly on sale, so you can you can pick it up for real cheap. All real cheap. Real cheap. All real cheap, Lou. All all real cheap, Lou. It's very real estate. It's very real estate. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I did start another game though myself. I just remembered. Uh, Ducktales Remastered. Ooh, Ooh yeah. So I had to give that a try because I never touched or seen the original. Ooh, you're missing out. I know. The original, well, the original so was. Until, so the original was fantastic. Well, I played the Remastered, and it's a pretty simple and charming game to be honest. The soundtrack's yeah. pretty damn fucking solid. I love it. Oh uh, yeah. In that book. The writing and the text is amazing. I mean, the game is awesome. I give it a 10 out of 10. I think I already got half through it. I mean, it's relatively short. I thought there'd be, like, a few more. But there is, like, just one thing they did add. You gotta, like, go for the level several times if you want to unlock all the character art and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, th the thing I didn't like about the DuckTales Remastered is they stop you in, in your tracks every now and then to, I mean. like, play a, to play a cutscene and shit. Oh, yeah. I, I did not enjoy that aspect of it. Didn't they make oh, yeah. that an option or something? I thought they, uh... Turn that off. Like, where it was like, do you want to watch these cutscenes? And you'd be like, no. Mm, or did that I don't know. I, 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 I haven't found it yet, but if there is um, if there is an option, I will definitely uh, disable the cutscenes once I get to play it again. Oh, and what was really bugging me is that there was no audio control for the game. It's loud as shit, really? and the only way you could, Yeah, I couldn't find the audio option. It's loud as uh, shit, and you have to, like, turn it down in the Windows mixer. Hmm. And there's like no full screen options. You can only alt enter that shit. I know. I think I forgot. But that was definitely no I'm, volume control. I'm pretty sure there are there are options for that. I mean, I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. I don't know if I'm that retarded at this point or mm. maybe but I'm I, just remembering things wrong. But yeah, the cutscenes. I mean, the text is funny, but it's not like one of those things that you can only like maybe hear once and twice and have a giggle. But the third time, third time, yeah. like yes, yes, we get it. Feather yeah. jokes. Ha 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 ha. You think that's bad? You should have a look at a Mega Man X Five, where they the support character continuously stops you for the most basic, horrible, and stupid information, and there's no way to turn it off. So you're just trying oh, to like, do, like, like a really fast thing. And it's just like, look out, Mega Man. That platform's going to fall. You better dash off of it quickly. Thank you. Oh, kind of like uh, uh, Fi in uh, uh, what was it what was the game? Skyward Sword. Zelda, Skyward Sword. Thank you. Kind no, no, I mean like. Oh, mid gameplay. Is, yes, this is like you're you're supposed to be going fast. Like you got you have, you have a dash, wall jump. You have all these like speed options, and you just immediately stop in the air, fall to the floor, and it's like, hey. Look out! That thing's gonna fall on the thing, uh, fall on the floor. You better duck to get past. It's like, oh. <laughs> um. By the way, restream is entirely given up on catching uh chat because uh Spike has said some things. Uh, the yeah, last I... thing I saw him say is very tasty and in, in restream. But uh, I'm seeing all the other stuff, so it's like that is strange. That is strange. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. As he said, the the remaster is pretty well made, but I kind of prefer the, prefer the NES versions because I like pixel art and chip tune and shit. Oh yeah, the chip tune, like the original soundtrack of uh, Ducktales, is fantastic, dude. You gotta listen to that if you get if you get around to it. Delicious. No take. You owe, you owe it to yourself. It's so good, especially the moon theme. Mm. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean the moon theme I did here, yeah, but I will consider it to be my favorite. I mean, I love it. I, I mean, it's it. nice, yes, but it's not something I normally listen to. Yeah. Personally. The Disney Afternoon Collection for Switch, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that thing's recently came out on the PC. It had Darkwing mm -hmm. Duck and a couple oh, of yeah. other NES classics. Yeah, I really want to get that one myself, just for Darkwing, because I mm. had the cartridge for that one. I love that game. Yeah, it's, it was weird. Like there was a time where Disney games were really, really good. Well, it's because they nope. had like a certain amount of quality control, where they would like mm -hmm. they would really be upset if a game didn't do well. Um, what was going on was like, from what I gathered, uh, Sega made some really good games for them, and then uh, one of them they um, what's it called? They uh, they had another company do it. They had a third party company do it. And it was, fucking awful so disney's like hey guys what the fuck's up and sega's like uh we'll make the next one better so oh, they wound up working yeah. with sega to make disney's aladdin way better than it was uh, going to be arguably I was just about to ask, version. what's up I'm, I'm pretty yeah i was just about to ask like aladdin the sega version was the one where they hired actual disney animators to do the animations right yep oh yeah that's why it really looks fucking amazing bonkers. Yeah, it still looks incredible. Like, the characters have a lot of charm, there's a lot of extra animation mm. to, like, everything. You're like, like, how the fuck did they do this? Yeah. Magic. <laughs> Disney magic. There's only, there's, there's a couple of games that, like, fucking phone. Just like, no, that's the phone in the background. Um, the other game that blew my mind in terms of that kind of shit is uh, Flashback uh, Quest for Identity, since it has, like, mm. all these actual FMV cutscenes. Well, not, you know, FMVs. They're, they're vectors, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. But it's just like, holy shit, this is on a cartridge! How did you do it? It's like, <laughs> there's a lot of them. Yeah. Also, I also uh, remember, um, what was it called? Quack Attack on the N64, wasn't it? Quack Attack on the 64. I doesn't sound familiar. It, it, it plays a little bit like Crash Bandicoot, I, I guess. I know they had a Barbie game that yep. stole a Crash Bandicoot kind of thing. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's Donald Duck going quackers in North America. It was uh, it was called Quack Attack around here. Ah, hmm. Yeah. Oh, I got to play a European game back in the day on the, on Sega Channel because you know they would do that. They'd just be like, "Hey, we're not releasing this game in America, but we'll put it on the Sega Channel." Um. Mm -hmm. Fuck, what was it called? Uh, Donald Duck... Ah, shit. Um, I gotta look it up. I forgot the name. Yeah. But you uh, you wound up... You were a ninja later on? Maui, Maui Mallard. That's it. Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow. Hmm. Um, yeah, Quite both... sucked. I don't know. I, I, I remember it quite fondly, I gotta say. But then again, it's been ages since I played it, so maybe it was a bad game, and I just didn't know any better back then, you know? That was certainly a thing. I don't know anything anyway, about sorry. that game. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, I don't know anything about the game, but uh, uh, Maui Mallard, I I played the shit of the Genesis one. I saw some stuff from the SNES version, and I think it did look better, but I don't know if it played any better, because um, my general experience is uh, when the games are on both systems... That's kind of how it would be, like, the Genesis version would play smoother and have a better resolution, but the mm -hmm. SNES version would look better. Like, um, mm -hmm. uh, Earthworm Jim is one of the examples. Oh, yeah. Um, Earthworm Jim was just weird. Like, it was, like, missing sounds and shit. I'm like, how the... Why? What happened? Mm-hmm. It just yeah, probably it's... didn't get much of a uh, love for the uh, port. Hmm. Yeah, I seem to recall the... Uh, SNES port of Earth on Jim being a bit wonky. Yeah, I not, did. Not that I've ever played it myself, but I, I know that there's been like videos on YouTube about that shit. It's not the worst version. That goes yeah, to yeah. the Game Boy Advance somehow. Because even the Game Gear and Game Boy versions, you know, were better in their own respective ways. Like, they're not like. They're not the way to play the game, but like, they mm -hmm. run surprisingly good for the hardware. And then. There's the Game Boy Advance version, just kind of like how barely running. How did they fuck up the Game Boy Advance version of that? I have no idea. It's it's missing boatloads of animation. The sound is fucking awful. The music's awful. It's like they just threw it on there and just went like, "Give us money." <laughs> Hell, even the HD version they put on the 360 um, a few years ago, it's missing mm -hmm. frames of animation compared to the the Genesis version. How? 
I don't know. I'm like, this is, it's a 16-bit game. What is wrong with you people? Yeah, how do you mess that one up? They're like, oh, we added co-op. Who cares? The game looks like shit. Yeah. I mean, the same could be said about the uh, Silent Hill uh, collection. Well, they had the excuse of we lost the source code and we have to make do with, like, beta versions. Is it a good excuse? That's... No, because they no. still released it. But I was just about to say that's hardly an excuse. No, no, but it's still it's still an excuse versus, hey, look, we're going to make an HD version of Earthworm Jim. You know, it's going to be worse than the original. The game that's known for having, like, animation perfect sprite art and then it's just like this isn't fucking nearly as good as a what, how fast is genesis a seven megahertz system how the fuck do you screw that up <laughs> oh man yeah someone was really lazy when they did that best versions of earthworm gym are the genesis and the sega cd version followed by the snes version oh wait was there mm -hmm. no there wasn't a playstation version i don't think i don't think anyway that's that's besides the point. I, I just wound up finding out all this shit because I was just, like, so interested in trying out all these versions when I got, like, emulators. I'm like, I finally get to try all this shit! And, mm -hmm. then, and then you get massively disappointed. Oh, yeah. And it's like, not even the game's fault in and of itself. It's just a really shoddy port. Yeah, um... Another example of that is, again, Flashback. It was so fucking bad on a Super Nintendo. Censored, missing music... Missing sound effects. And it's not a game that should have been hard to run. Whatever. It, it, I think the point that I heard was um, they couldn't get approved for putting in a coprocessor into it. Oh, yeah. Because, um, what was it called? Another World had that problem. They're like, yeah, uh, it would have run better, but we couldn't get approved for an extra chip. They just didn't want to spend the money. So it was like... Oh, great. Uh, yeah. There you go. That certainly happened a lot with the uh, SNES, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, they shoved in a lot of special chips. The only, um, mm -hmm. like, Mega Man X2 and 3 had it. Um, Mario RPG, Kirby games had it. It was pretty common to help the uh, CPU, yeah, thing, which was a little mm -hmm. lacking. Yeah, I, I remember that. But... The, yeah, the only one on the Genesis I know of was um, uh, Virtual Racing, which was like, you know, all polygons. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Didn't, uh, hang on, D didn't Star Fox also have a, a separate chip on it? Yep, so did Star Fox 2. It was the Super FX oh, yeah. and the Super FX 2 chip. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the Mega Man uh, X games had this other coprocessor to handle wireframes and potentially something else. Hmm. Boring shit. <laughs> I, don't do much. I don't know. I've... I found it really interesting, but I guess we're, we're pretty much the only ones around here to do. Mm, take care, boss. Catch you later, Spike. Hey, hey boss. See ya. I, don't know, I find all that stuff fascinating because mm. I like when a system is pushed beyond its limits and shit, but mm. at the same time, back then, that just made the game cost so much fucking more for the for the consumer. Yeah, for barely any payoff, instead of, like, uh, working with the resources that you've got available. Yeah, because uh, on, the, on the Mega Man side, it apparently cost, made the games cost way more, and they just wound up selling, like, shit comparatively. Mm. It's like, god damn it. You guys screwed up. Yeah. I have a few choice words about the Mega Man X Legacy collection that just came out recently, but I'm going to hold my tongue <laughs> oh, yeah. because I think I've nerded out on it. Unless oh, Rolla yeah. just wants to hear about this. Yes, please. Uh, Good, go ahead. Oh, God. Um, okay. I love my friend. My friend. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, how do I put this? It's... It's good, but, like, it's missing a lot of shit that they just, like, ripped out, like... And they didn't fix Why? anything. Um, uh, okay, there's a PS2 collection, right? Right. They managed to remove the slowdown from all the games, pretty much. Uh, and even though it only had X1 through 6 and not X1 through 8. Um, mm -hmm. Which I would argue, you know, 7 and 8 aren't entirely worth owning. But whatever. They removed all the slowdown. And they even implemented a perfectly working save 
option. So you can save your game just like a, any other PlayStation 2 game. Mm-hmm. And the uh, X Collection, no. it's it, What it does is it saves the password. Oh, you, that, God. Yeah, so it'll just be like, oh, this is the password, like, when you load it up. So it's like, okay, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> I suppose. Um, but then on top of that... Uh, what else was there? Um, they they allow you to play the Japanese and English versions of each game, which sounds great. It is pretty cool, except mm. they don't oh, have no. any of the Japanese music uh, for any of the intros. So uh, I had no idea where it's different music. Yeah, every single uh, game that had an intro had a <coughs> Japanese. Um, how do you put this? Kind of like J-pop opening to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the most part, I like the. English one's better, but it would have been nice to have actual real option. option. Yeah. Yeah. And hell, X6 had Japanese in it in America and Japan. And they just totally removed it from the English version. They Why? put in a, I don't know. They put in another song. And in X4, they censored the game. They removed uh, this one part where the robots give a pseudo-Hitler salute. So, Oof. yeah, they removed that and awkwardly edited the video to just try to hide the fact that they cut out a scene. And <laughs> bewilderingly, they edited the game to be t- darker, uh, the, the opening cutscene to be darker, so um, to help prevent epileptic Wait, seizures. Oh, oh, so, so in terms of uh, uh, extra right. visibility. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but they, they edited the opening video for that, but then there's so many scenes in the game that has bright flashing white lights. Later cutscenes aren't edited either, so it's like, it's just the opening. You ruin the opening just because, whatever. Uh, All right. What else is there? Like, it, there's so many little things. Geo wound up getting a bug where the boss jumped on a wall and disappeared, and then Geo's limbs started disappearing in his head. It's just like, what the fuck uh, happened? But that, that, also, that, how? <laughs> I don't know. That glitch is. I know you don't know. It's just a. It's it's a rhetorical question. It's like what? I know. Uh, um, that glitch isn't so bad because it's Mega Man X Seven, and no one should play X Seven at all. It's not good. Um, what else? Um, the X Challenge mission where you fight two bosses is pretty okay, but. Hmm. Uh, it's all set battles, you can't pick the bosses you want to fight, and there's a lot of repeats, and it's really fucking hard! Oh, good lord. Like, there's hard mode and normal mode, and normal mode is fucking bonkers hard. So I don't even want to picture hard mode. Uh, you can't play a zero in it, so just Mm -hmm. erase that from your thoughts. (laughs) No! (laughs) <laughs> no. Yep, can't play zero. So no, I refuse. What else was there? Um, they only had the SNES version of Mega Man X3. They didn't include the PlayStation version for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, it's arguable which one's better, but I think they should have given you the choice since this is supposed to be like this ultimate collection. Yeah. Didn't they also like was was that a different collection or did they leave out entire games as well? Um, I think I heard someone complain about that. Like they were, they were like, "Uh, it's hardly a collection if like f- four or five games are missing from the series." Okay. Um. This is this is where it gets this is where it gets stupid. Okay. Uh, if you oh. buy the Switch version, you get the cartridge for the first half of the collection, X one through four, which are really good games, and then mm-hmm. the rest of them are digital download. Why? Um, <laughs> this makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It apparently, allegedly, it's to do with having different SKUs, and they didn't want to have two cartridges in there because they're expensive. Because I think the PlayStation and Xbox One versions come with two CDs. Well, wait, wait. We're still talking about Mega Man games. They can't be this big. I mean, if if they can fit like <laughs> fucking Breath of the Wild on a cartridge, then what's the issue with me- with a couple Mega Man games? Come on. Let me put it to you this way. Let me put it to you this way. The Mega Man Legacy Collection, not the X Collection, the Mega Man ones. We're talking Nintendo games that can't even be larger than a single megabyte in some cases. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I mean. 
yeah, the original Mega Man games, uh, they were separated into two, uh, onto a cartridge and a download. And the second half Why? of the download, I don't know. This is, this is so stupid. What the fuck? What's wrong with those? What's, what? I have <laughs> no fucking clue. They're just being giant cheap bastards because there's no excuse because the X1, 2, and 3 are SNES games. The fourth one is a PlayStation game, and I think it's maybe 180 megs max. Yeah, so I was they, I was about to say that's tops. They have all of like, that plus high res art plus a upscaled PSP video, a bunch of photos of products, uh, and that that's about it. All, all, of, all of which are fucking JPEGs because let's face it, you don't need any bigger resolution on the, on the Switch. Uh, <laughs> or on any platform, to be honest. So yeah. The yeah. fuck? Yeah, they. It, it's it's a good collection, but it's also janky collection. That's not as good as the original collection in ways. Mm. Got, they've removed all the slowdown in uh in the PS2 and GameCube collection. It's back in full force on the uh Switch and other versions. Mm -hmm. And some people are like, oh, that's good because like it's the authentic experience. It's like no slowdown really isn't. I was about to ask, what is it about this slowdown you keep talking about? What's up? What's up with that? Uh, it's just the SNES at the time couldn't keep up with the game, you know. So. Oh. So so it ran slower on the SNES. Is what you're saying? Yeah. So that slowdown transfers to the, this collection. They still have the slowdown. Oh, now I get it. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, no, the, yeah. The PS2 Perfect. version. Managed to get rid of it. They they eliminated all the slowdown of the game. Yes, and, and, they, the, and somehow they still chose to package the uh, the version with the slowdown still in it. What the fuck? Yeah. So I would love to know the reasoning behind it, even if it's bullshit. I would I would, I would just love to see someone or hear someone justify this, like uh, weasel their way out of going like, well, we were just fucking lazy and we didn't know any better. Uh, let me let me also top this off. Remember I said the Japanese intros are missing from all these games, and uh, oh, there's also commercials that they had uh, included in the Japanese version that had you know animated you know featurettes in there with a little bit of music. Those are gone too. Mm -hmm. All this stuff that's been cut so. out is in the Japanese version, and the Japanese version also has all the English stuff, and it's the same price. And you can get the, a version that comes with two cartridges, unlike the American version, or you can buy them entirely separate versions. Why? Well, <laughs> I mean, so, this this can't be about licensing because come on. Uh, they I could see that it would be about licensing because all this kind of uh singing, any anything to do with singing usually involves mm. an actual band, and they usually mm -hmm. have to go through a lot to get it over here. Um, as I mentioned, Tales of Zillia, that's got an, uh, an anime opening and it has a song that's sung and everything. But some of the mm -hmm. previous games, they cut that out of the American version. Right. Speaking of which, isn't, isn't or wasn't uh, Grand Theft Auto V also facing the same issue, issue where, they were, where they had to remove a couple songs and shit? Four. Four was... Uh, oh, four. yeah, four. Yeah. That confused me because I've never heard of an update like that before. Like... Mm-hmm. Saints Row has licensed music in it, as far as I know, and it's not yeah. going anywhere. I don't know. Maybe maybe their contracts were just a bit more waterproof, which surprises me because it's Rockstar we're talking about. Or they should Rockstar, they should know better. <laughs> or or Rockstar opted to just have a really shitty contract that they didn't care about ending. Oh yeah. Probably. I, then again, I, Go on. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say, then again, apparently uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 was a pretty shitty game in and of itself in kind of few aspects. Yeah, it's, it's arguable. I, I don't much like it. I beat it for the most part. Like I got to the last mission and I didn't beat mm -hmm. it. it. I had a... It was like uh, chase this guy on a motorcycle on a beach and I kept spinning out and I was just like, you know what? I'm, I haven't had fun with this game in, in, for like hours. I'm done with it. Mm. I've never played a single uh, Grand Theft Auto game. 
just to, just to put this out there. So I wouldn't know. I'm just saying what I heard. Uh, well, you're you're not wrong. I think it's definitely the most contended. You know, is it mm -hmm. good? Is it not good? Because you know your your friends and family bother you in that game. Like, you know, cousin, let's oh, yeah. hang out and go bowling. And you're like, no, I. It's like you want to hold the the phone outside your car window. It's like you hear that? It's the FBI chasing me. You know what I don't want to do? Yeah. Go bowling. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's definitely a meme. Nika, it's your cousin. Why don't you take <laughs> me bowling? Oh yeah, even uh, even Miracle of Sound took uh, took the piss. Oh hell yeah, I love that song. Ten out of ten. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> so I, I apologize for my Mega Man X rant, but it's just like you want to say positive things about it. It's like it's it's good. But then there's so many things that just don't make sense that hurt your brain. Mm -hmm. Like e even like even you writing about it, I've I've felt a couple of brain cells just screaming in agony. <laughs> Golly gee, I wonder why. Probably because it doesn't <laughs> make sense. Yeah. I mean, the the most positive thing I could say about it is uh, you can get the collection online in two separate parts. You can get you know one for twenty bucks and the other for twenty bucks. Uh, versus like Nintendo, where they're like, "Hey, this game's you know seven years old, sixty dollars, please." Mm -hmm. But it's but it's oh, sixty dollars, please. It's really oh, it's sixty dollars, please. Yeah, versus Steam. Hey, this game came out last like last week. Have it for ten bucks, because unless we've got a sale, bitch. Unless it's Warner Brothers getting involved, then it's hey, look, it's Fear One, Two, and Three for sixty dollars. But was oh, yeah, fuck. Weren't those games just? Seven dollars on a sale, like last year. Six dollars, mm -hmm. please. Okay, fuck you guys. Yeah, let's go, let's go yar hard those games instead because fuck you. But Lou, didn't you hear? Warner Brothers removed the player choice from Shadow of War. <laughs> yeah, I did. Why did they I remove did. the player choice? I can't, I don't know. I can't stand it. I need the choice in my games. Yeah, didn't also EA patch out player choice or like player accomplishment in this other game? I I, I don't I just pride and accomplishment. Yeah, that's what it pride was. and accomplishment. Thank you. I, I, I just forgot the name. What was it? Hmm. Yeah, see, Warner Brothers patched out the uh, the player choice, and that was play, uh, pride and accomplishment. I mean, so I mean, <laughs> don't get it mixed up because you know each each had their own benefits. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Pride and accomplishment. Jesus. Nice. Triple A! Yes, we do enjoy sniffing our own farts. Yes, quite. I do enjoy the odor of my own flatulence. Mm. No one wants to run around as a pink Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! I Bitch, want... please! I want to be fabulous while I <laughs> slice this rebel scum. Yeah. Do not dare deny me my desires <laughs> i mean i like bog standard costumes and everything but i won't lie i like driving around in one of those like tiny two-seat eco cars that's fluorescent <laughs> pink with white on sidewalks and saints uh saints row i will do that all yeah. fucking day yeah because imagine getting to the pearly gates and how did you die i got hit by a pearly pink car going 40 miles an hour For just 40 miles an hour that's how that's how fast they go that's it there's nothing faster <laughs> than that just cut me some slack all right Come. Zero to forty. Yes, it can. <laughs> uh, yet here I am. Fucking <laughs> hell! Those oh, are the God, cars that. Nearer. Those are the cars that you and a friend, if you need to parallel park, can get out of the car, lift it up by yourselves, and move it over <laughs> to the next spot. I think they only weigh like, I don't know how much they weigh, but I, I've I've seen people lift up the car. Like quite easily, yeah. just like scoot over. It's like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like like the other day, I saw a smart parked like, what's it called? Fuck. Ah. Uh, yeah. The, the other day, I saw a, a smart car parked sideways into a parking lot. <laughs> and, you could, and, and you could, and you could. And keep in mind, we're talking European parking lots here, not American. But people, like our cars aren't as wide as yours, and that's that's Man. not a diss. It's just a matter of fact. So you could still 
park a second smart car in there. That's how fucking tiny these things are. <laughs> also, it's like the biggest troll. Like, imagine you're you're pulling up to uh, and and you see like you spot this this uh, this parking lot and you like uh, like this parking spot. And you're like, oh sweet, there's finally a free one. You pull in and you realize, oh no, it's it's half taken by a fucking smart car. Sideways. Yeah, but you want to get mad, but it's just like it's hand on you like, mm -hmm. son of a bitch. It's it fits. <laughs> I'm not even mad, that's amazing. <laughs> cause because over here there's like assholes that are in like giant ass pickup trucks that'll park crest oh, yeah. three parking spots. You're like, dude, come on. Yeah. Please don't re please do not reproduce. <sighs> Too late. Yeah. Yeah, if they're, if they're driving a pickup truck, they've probably inbred quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, it's like Idiocracy had a point or something. My mother's my sister. <laughs> GTA. And my grandma, too. Uh -oh. That was a GTA the reference, I get it. <laughs> yes, it, it was. GTA, the old ones, is they were like the way I stayed sane in high school. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I, I came home from school and I just ran over everyone for like about an hour or two depending on how bad the day was <laughs> yeah i can see that i, I, I can totally see that i think i had killed over i don't remember the exact number i recall it being 60 uh 650 000, but i think it was <laughs> probably closer to actually seventy thousand. Oh, oh the game keeps count yes it does naturally sweet they all do <laughs> um I think my friend was like, what's the matter with you? It's like, dude, I come home, I blow some steam, what do you want from me? Leave me alone. Yeah. I'm not hurting anyone. Except everyone. Anyone real. <laughs> sure, yeah. we might have hurt some people, but not that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't hit like... someone, you can't hurt someone if you don't know they're in your rear view mirror. <laughs> Objects in the rearview mirror may appear uh, may appear closer than they are. No, Objects are closer than they appear. Other way around. Objects Damn in the rearview mirror may scream louder than they appear. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Objects in the rear mirror may appear more slow than they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. You see that tracksuit? You're like, nah, man. <laughs> ah shit! <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, goddamn it, Cole, yeah. <laughs> Suka! <laughs> Stay past the sunflower seeds. <laughs> past the sandwich key. <laughs> Oddly, this is just reminding me that I, ha I should go uh, pick up a bottle of, uh, you know, booze after the stream. Mm. The streamy stream. The stream oh, stream. The streamy stream. I had, I had way too much to boo during this week. <laughs> Got shit face, did you? Not really, it's just that I have not drank in so long. One bottle was enough to like drop me dead on the bed. <laughs> One bottle of what? Beer. Local brew. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Well Hey, our local brew is <laughs> fucking amazing. So well maybe it's amazing dude, the German. Dude, I don't but... I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it for a second. Like Eastern European beer is fucking great. The... I talked to Spike earlier and he didn't know what qua What? <laughs> Well, Truth be told, I do. While I do know what kvass is, in concept, I've never tasted it. I mean, mostly in my defense, Spike is much more of an intelligent individual as I, it is me. <laughs> English, hold on, water. <laughs> hold on, I got the bottle of water right here. Intelligent. <laughs> well, excuse me, I'm in shock. Still okay. As I was saying, mostly. Spike is a much more intelligent individual than I am. I thought he, of all the things on this planet, he would know what Kvass is. Intellectual, I think the word is you're looking for. Same yeah. thing, whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Look, to, to be fair, on the whole getting, you know, I don't know, knocked out on one bottle, I don't know what it is. I've mentioned this before. I, I get exhausted if I have um, something like Mike's Hard Lemonade, which... Like, I'm not saying like I get drunk. It's just like I'm just like I have to go to bed right now. If I don't go to bed, I'm gonna fall mm. over in my chair. It's nothing to do with it. There's nothing to do with being drunk. It's just I get so tired. I don't know what's up with it. But 
at the same time, I could drink a boatload of whiskey and I'm entirely fine. I'm not drunk, I'm not tired, I'm just like, mm. this is fine. <laughs> As the entire world is on fire. Yeah. Uh, well, this I mean, is fine. Naturally, in that regard. Yeah. Is he not watching our true Slav YouTube leader? Um, I'm fairly sure he does not enjoy that kind of content. Then again, what does he enjoy? Nothing. I can't believe I work for this man. <laughs> <laughs> this is unacceptable. Unacceptable! I've been watching a lot of uh, Adventure Time lately. Along, grab your friends. We're going to distant lands. Oh my god, I need to skip the song. Shapes the dog and pin the humans. Fun will never end. Adventure time. Okay. That's what I'm. Well, that's what I got playing in the back of my head whenever we play Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fucking um, put a note on my uh, overlay for uh, OBS because I I really think that other people might sign on and like try and talk and I just don't respond because. I can't see anything. Hmm. Because Restream's just not telling me. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, you mean a chat overlay? No, I mean just the Restream, you know, app that you put on your computer. It's not... Yeah. It doesn't update half the time. I had to yeah, restart what, what it does, again. Yeah, but what, what, is it, what does an uh, overlay have to do with that uh, in OBS? Well, I'm just saying, like, I want to put a note saying, if I don't respond to you... I'm not ignoring oh, you, you know, I'm you just mean. not seeing you because Restream's a pile of crap. Is that is that too long for a, for a message? You know, hello, this is a pile of crap, and... I guess it is. I wouldn't know. Naturally is. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just fucking angry. It's just like, I... Oh, just work, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm not paying you anything, but my god, fucking work. Mm. Where is the thing that I did not pay for? <laughs> That I'm still entitled to. Hashtag avocado bread or whatever that fucking meme was. Avocado toast. Of all the stupid, I'm I'm getting too old for this shit. You do know where the where the meme came from, right? Not really, no. Right. So so there was an article saying that uh, millennials don't have enough money to buy houses because they keep buying frivolous shit like avocado toast completely ignoring the fact that the like that the complete uh economy is in the toilet and shit it's like yeah. we have to like millennial i don't think i am a millennial no i'm not uh like millennials basically have to work two jobs to even afford one avocado toast a month let's just let them have their shit you know what do you know. generation x or something <laughs> Am I? I don't fucking know at this point. Well, if you're born in the 80s, uh, or I think 90s, I think you're a millennial. 89? Does that still count? Yes. So, so I am a millennial? I believe you're a millennial. Huh. Uh, Generation oh. X, is anyone, I think, born in the 2000s, or... <sighs> I th yeah, I think that's what it is. I, I forgot. I saw, like, Who a even... list. Yeah. Who even knows at this point? Who even cares? I don't well, know. I mean, you should Pe people care. Pre <laughs> yeah, people predecessing millennials all the time. I, I guess these are the only ones. Well, I mean, if you knew someone was sassing you, don't don't you think you should, uh, you know, know that, you know, you're being sassed? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, ignorance is bliss. I have no time to waste on these worthless mouth breeders or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> lapping their glory holes that they call mouths spitting nonsense about me when they don't even know me. Why should I waste my time on these pathetic casuals? A harumph, I say. I got better things to do in my life. Fuck them. They're not I'm, They're not worth my time. I got better things to hear and know. I didn't say it was such true. as, do penguins dream of bicycles? <laughs> that's a thought I want to know. Actually, yeah, that's... <laughs> Do robots okay. dream of electric sheep? Yes, yeah. that is much more deeper, interesting thoughts and ideas than someone hearing me like, did you hear that guy can't even buy a house because he's buying toast? 
<laughs> Joke's on you, Mofo. I inherited my apartment. Ha <laughs> ha. While you're still sleeping at your parents' basement. Butt wipe. Harumph, again, I say. Harumph. Let me adjust my $2 monocle to pick up from the thrift store last night. <laughs> because I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> no, 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 just my $2 monocle much that I stole from the local dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> it was much more shinier than the one at the jewelry store. Thank you very much. Somehow I doubt that. You have not seen the shiny. Indeed, do not have. judge until you've seen it for yourself. Thou shalt remedy this at post haste. Post haste, indeed. Quite. Mm. I told you that I get sass for drinking Southern Comfort, you know, the alcohol. When it's just like, yeah, like what? I'm like, I don't understand why. It's like, okay, it's like, it's like, oh, but it's not very good whiskey. It's like, it tastes good though. I don't care. I yeah, I like it. Period. What else do you, do I need? It's like, oh, let me go for the, you know, $80 stuff on the shelf that's in a smaller bottle that doesn't taste good, and uh, I'll just, uh, in, in air quotes, enjoy that more. Mm hmm While constantly stressing how I should, how I'm supposed to afford my next bottle. <laughs> but it doesn't have the golden label, so if it doesn't have the golden label, then why are you bothering buying these things? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, why bother buying things you enjoy if they don't cost an arm and a leg? Naturally. You, sir, have way too many arms and legs still left, I see. Harumph. Yeah, I read a sad-ass story that someone was, like, uh, berated by someone because, like, their neighbors knew that they were on food stamps, but, like... Oh, uh, my God. They got a, um... Their, their uh, sibling got them a uh, Nintendo DS or something. Oh, whoop de doo So, like... Oh, you know, they, so they assume... Yeah, yeah. they were starting, like, That's berating them, saying, like, you know, you don't have money for this, but, you know, you're spending tax dollars on, uh, on this. It's like, bitch, this person got, like, a job, uh, delivering newspapers for, like, months to get the goddamn yeah. thing. And, like, that now you just change. made them feel like shit. Yeah. Because I see these... How dare they? How dare they spend money they earned on shit they enjoy every once in a while? Well, according to these people, they didn't earn anything. It's government given. My, my, uh, I have uh relatives upstate who say this shit. Mm -hmm. It's like, like guys, shut up. Just yeah, shut what? the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, just let people, just let people have something for for fuck's sake. Just no, they, they must enjoy their lives. The, they must survive on the basic necessities. They don't need cell phones. Only oh yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Who needs cell phones these days in this interconnected world? Am I right? <laughs> cell phones. I mean, I don't even like cell phones, and I'd I still say, like, yeah, you probably should have one if you're doing certain things. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we're not in the Wild West anymore. Calm thine breasts. Or are we? No, no, we're not. Hee-haw. Shut up. I... Could have had me fooled. <laughs> Everyone's gonna hop oh, on. Oh, speaking of Wild Wild, Wild West. Speaking oh, no. of Wild Wild West. Um, oh, no. I finally get to see. I finally <laughs> watched. I finally saw Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. Oh, Ooh. finally. Too bad you can't quote yes. a single fucking line in the entire movie. I mean, I can, but. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather yeah. not. But no. <laughs> but no. Exactly. But nah. nah. I found one hate letters in my mail. <laughs> Or maybe I do. My mail is kind of empty. Hmm. Are you? Are you crazy? Didn't you notice that that sheriff's a? Ni <clears throat> Sorry, wrong person. <laughs> Walks back. <laughs> Fucking Mel Brooks. <laughs> no, that was actually a direct quote. I didn't even censor myself. I know. <laughs> Still, you know. Yeah. Apparently, intent or uh, context does not matter these days. He so. said the sheriff is near. <laughs> <laughs> no! The sheriff's a ding ding! <laughs> oh, He's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, boys! Look what I found over here! Where the white women at? <laughs> uh, I, still, I still gotta watch this one. This sounds amazing. It you is. You haven't watched it? It's so good! I did. I, I never, I never came around to it. 
It even has Nazi jokes in it. It's wonderful. It does. Yep. <laughs> yep. I did come around to watching uh, aliens. aliens, though. Finally. Yes. Too much I know, right? Cut, but I mean, I'm glad you finally fucking saw it because I mean, that that's one of the only movies I will ever drive someone to watch for for two reasons. One, it's fucking incredible, and two, you've probably experienced two dozen forms of media that's been inspired by it. Mm-hmm. Boy, oh, this yeah. Metroid sure is great in the original. <laughs> that's uh, cute. That's cute. <laughs> oh, man, Contra, it's so original. Ah, that's cute. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Contra. Mm. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, oh, Xenophobe. Oh, what an amazing arcade game. Uh, it's not totally inspired by Alien. What's mm, Not at all. No. What gave you that idea? The fact that there's an alien on the cover. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, everything it, it was inspired by that fucking movie. Yeah. I mean, I can see why. It's, uh, it's fucking awesome. I mean, I, I still, I still enjoy the original one more. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will say that it's a very, very enjoyable action romp. Yeah. I, I do get annoyed whenever I see a review saying that uh, the first one's better because the second one's just a dumb action movie. I'm like, if it was a dumb <sighs> action movie, then they would have won a single firefight. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was definitely more uh, more action heavy than the first one, absolutely. Well, duh, it's action horror. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's still enjoyable. It's great. I like it quite a lot. Too bad the movies, uh, the movie can't ever spawn a decent game. It did spawn one good one. Well, I mean, Aliens, not Alien. Alien oh. definitely inspired a good one. Hmm. Indeed. I was I was about to ask. Uh, um, Alien Resurrection is probably a safe skip. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that said, that uh, told me everything I need to know. I mean, like, it's... How do I put this? <laughs> okay, look. It's a decent what-if movie. It's got some really cool ideas. Uh-huh. Um, but there's a couple of... There's at least three moments where I face-palmed really hard. Um, <laughs> I'll spoil one of them. Uh, this All one right. guy, you know, they... they, they, they the military comes in, like, everyone freeze and put your weapons down. This guy's got guns that are, like, literally attached to his wrist. He's like, I can't put my guns down. He's like, no, put your guns down. I can't. So he, like, glances up. He sees a, a light. He fires the gun. The bullet pings off the light, pings off a wall, and hits the guy in the face. It's like, oh. Aww. But, again, it's not... It's not <laughs> awful. It's just not a good Aliens movie. It's, it's cheesy. Yeah. It's got some good ideas. It, it, it's like an Aliens uh, fanfic. Yeah. It, it's got some really interesting, fun ideas. But there's just a couple that just fall short. It, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's a 6 out of 10, if, if I had to sum it up. Yeah, it's just it's still quite... Uh, that's still above average. Yeah, you, you're either going to love it or you, you're going to hate it. I, Me, I was mm. just going, eh, whatever. It's It's fine. Am I going to put it on mm. every time? No. Am yeah. I going to put it on aliens instead? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Also, Ripley is a fucking badass in Aliens. Good lord. Yeah, whenever I see this movie, he's got the first badass woman in, in a movie, I'm like, fuck you! Yeah, Ripley would like to have a word with you. And maybe rip your throat out. She's fucking six feet of badass. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know this, but apparently she's a very, very tall woman. Mm-hmm. And she wears high heels and doesn't give a fuck. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. Like, allegedly, directors I mean... have said, like, can you not wear high heels around the male cast? You're kind of intimidating them. She's like, okay, fine. No. The next day comes in with, like, the biggest stripper boots that, you know, you can imagine. <laughs> just, like, just completely, like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you and your fragile male egos. Like, seriously, just... Who the fuck cares if someone's taller than you? I live with that every yeah. fucking day. <laughs> yeah. 
Fucking hell. If, if, the, if that's all you got to offer, then, well, maybe the issue isn't everyone else's height, but you're, like, uh, I don't fucking know. Listen, I, 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 the only excuse I could give to the situation is, like, look, Sigourney Weaver, can you do me a favor? Stop wearing the tall-ass heels because I already have neck strain looking up at you at normal height. <laughs> like, the heels just make it worse. Just just think about my neck, please. I it's, can't, yeah, I can't it, do it. It's, it's, not, it's not like I'm demanding you do that, but it, it, it would be nice. It would be really considerate of you. Listen, I, I'm gonna have to tell Jeff over here to bring in a dolly so he can wheel me in <laughs> and lean me back to have a conversation with the, with you. Oh my god! Head. Oh my god! I just I just thought of something. Uh, didn't they didn't they need to uh, put what was his what was his name? Fuck! I'm I'm awful with uh, character names. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, on Ghostbusters. Oh, um. Uh, you know you know the guy. Bill Murray. Bill Murray, yeah. Didn't they have to put to put him on a, a pedestal or something whenever he was in this uh, in the same scene as Sigourney Weaver or something? Uh, because I, I don't have... think he's. Wait, is how tall is he? I'll look it up real quick. Uh... Yeah, I could have sworn I've read something about that, but you know, oh, you, that's you actually quite read common. a lot of. Yeah, you read a lot of things about Bill about Bill Murray, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't, but. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to think he's a bit of a, of a, of an ass, but yeah, he is old. Cut him some slack. <laughs> Even when he was younger. Mm hmm. Oh, he's six two. Oh, okay. Never uh, mind. Or one point eight eight meters. One eighty eight. Jesus. Uh, that is that is quite tall indeed. Never mind them. I was completely wrong. How the hell do you spell? Oh, he was. I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, uh, hang on. Fuck! Wow. How am I so bad with names? Um, Welcome to my world. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, isn't Tom Cruise really short? Yes. He like has a they, clause a lot where, of... Yeah, he's got a clause where he <laughs> has to be put on either tall shoes or something when he's in the scene with taller people. <laughs> Oh, so Bill Murray is <laughs> taller than Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is uh, 5'11 and 3 fourths. So she's six She's six feet tall, pretty much. She's 1.82 yeah. meters. Damn. Yeah, again, can you stop wearing yeah. goddamn heels? You're going to make my neck break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 5'10. 5'10, 5'6. It's uh, yeah, like 160 something, right? I don't fucking know. I'm short. Let's just put it that way. I'm fucking short. <laughs> you're I'm not short, you're stumpy. Apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently it's very common for guys to lie about their height, because, uh... Really? This, this one YouTube channel I, I've been watching called, uh, Fact Fiend, um... Mm -hmm. This guy goes on tangents a lot, so this was, like, in mm -hmm. his, uh, Sigourney Weaver fact thing. He was like, it's like, yeah, a lot of guys lie about their height for some reason. He's like, he's like, because I'm quite tall, so whenever someone's like, you know, I'm six foot, it's like, no, mate, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> six this, you're... You're not anywhere near. It's like, no, you must be. You, you must have been measured wrong. It's like, <laughs> it's like, is your ego that fucking fragile that you need to be oh, yeah. lying about your height? Come like, on. Here's the thing. I'm probably lying about my height as well, but only because I don't know any better. Like, I've got it in my head that I'm like 180, mm -hmm. like around 180, but I'm pretty sure I'm like 178. But you know, two centimeters. Pff, fuck it. Who cares? I was measured at that uh, at, at five six, whatever that is, and you know, meters, but, um, I know I'm so at height because my brother is shorter than me, which makes me laugh. Because he's, uh, nine years older than me and I'm still taller than him. Five foot oh. six in centimeters. You're 167. Five, what's it, 5.5? Five, five, six. I'm five, six. Oh, five, six. Yeah, 170, that's, yeah, that's, I short. think that's, uh, no, that's, that's not that, that short. See, I said it was average, and I got like, no, man, that's yeah. not average. It's below average. And they're like, I'm like, it is, I it is average. reading average. Depends on, depends on where you live, but I'm pretty sure that's average for Americans. Listen, I'm tall for, you know, ancient Rome height, all right? <laughs> <laughs> You're tall know. next to Napoleon, which, matter of fact, he wasn't that small as everyone made it out to be. Yeah, apparently it was his guards. Yeah. His guards that were like super tall and just made him look short. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he was average height for the time. 
Mm. Whatever height that was. I uh, had a joke about height, but I... no, wait, I remember. I remember. Um, I read an article. Oh, oh. Anyway. <laughs> I, read a, I read a joke about height, but it wait, but it went right above my head. God damn it, son! <laughs> but yes, I remember now. <laughs> NASA. Yes. It had problems with their uniforms, you know, the space suit and all that, because yeah. all of their uh, oh no. astrono astronomers were lying about Lighter. their dick size. <laughs> they, they had to make every like size for the cosmetic uh, Cosmo underpants or whatever specific yeah. and everyone lied about the size so their dicks were like dangling down there. <laughs> until like several years later they decided to make it like stretchable and universal one size yeah. for all kind of deal <laughs> that's, almost that's as bad so as, cute it's almost as bad as Star Trek The Next Generation where they you know all the actors got measured for their uh their, their uniforms and yeah. they're like okay since this is spandex we're gonna make it two sizes too small because that'll you know really break you know bring the physique out of all of our actors and uh, all the actors no. hated the uniform it was like yeah it's like do you have any idea what that does to your spine to have something pulled out you eight hours a day oof oof i can only imagine so, my spine is broken yeah, as, as it is so so they, they started like Jonathan Frakes, this guy who's a, he's super tall. Mm -hmm. and I, he's like one of the tallest members of the cast. He, he's so tall that I didn't even notice this. Whenever he sits down in Star Trek: The Next Generation, he casually steps over the back of the chair and sits down every time. <laughs> he does it so smoothly. I never noticed until someone's like, "Did you ever notice he just doesn't ever sit normal?" I'm like, "What?" And I'm like, "Oh my god, he does it!" I've been watching this show for like fucking forever. <laughs> So, yeah, apparently he just like started ripping the uniforms because he's just like, I can't take this anymore. It's actually killing me. <laughs> I'm it's dead like if serious. Once, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Hold on, I'm gonna do this up. No, I'm not exaggerating. It's every time he sits down. Uh, this, has, this has to be a Star Trek meme at this point, right? It is. <laughs> John, like Jonathan Frakes just sits down. I found I found the uh, video. Yeah, you can just like, you can just knock your sound off and uh, and check that video out. I put it in the uh, in, in the Picard up every fucking time. Stupid bastard! God damn it! Just casually, just like you know. Whoop. Good grief! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I, I, it's so annoying because I know I could never ever do that. <laughs> even when he stands up, even when he stands up, you, you bastard! <laughs> what a dick! Sly motherfucker! <laughs> and it, he <laughs> always did it. <laughs> was, like, was, was, was that a? Was that something the director wanted him to do, or was it just no, like his, he, he, his he way of going? Nah, da, 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 da. He, he just did it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> he's apparently uncomfortably tall, so it's just like, whatever. Oh, except on everything. <laughs> <laughs> my god, how tall it, is he? Something. Jesus I, I'm gonna look it up. Uh... <laughs> how, how tall is Jonathan Frakes? Uh, like, 193! Jesus Holy... Christ! Yeah, that's... that's tall. <laughs> and that's compared to the rest of the cast. Um, Marina Sirtis is 5'5", five five. Uh, Gates McFadden is 5'7", Brent Spiner is 5'10", <laughs> and he's 6'4". Just like, hi everyone who's tiny! Uh, how's the air down there? <laughs> God, do they have to adjust the door heights for him, too? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Tall motherfucker. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. And, and another meme that started from that, once they, they, they find- uh, Lou's done. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Got how easy it was to break, Lou. That's our corner for the night.
Look, I haven't been streaming for two weeks. Come with some slack. Not an episode. I need, to, I need to get used to the bullshit again. Hasn't seen a single episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Motherfucker sits down weird. Oh my god, the motherfucker sits down weird. <laughs> Fucking laughing for the next 20 minutes. Because <laughs> it looks so cool. <laughs> look, look, if I were 193, I, I, would do the, I would do the exact same thing. Like, all the time, everywhere. In a restaurant, fuck you, I'm sitting down like Jonathan Frakes. Screw Lou's you. Gonna, Lou's gonna get up for a cup of coffee at his job, and he's gonna be... Look, he's gonna, he's gonna stop and, and look at his uh, his office chair, and he's gonna look at it and just go like, Yeah. What? Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. He's yeah. gonna walk over and just like, you're just gonna hear a horrible crash. You're gonna, you're gonna see him like, you know, bent over holding his groin, going, I need new pants. I just ripped them. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm sitting down like comfortably. Yeah, bitches, look at me being tall. You stand up again, leave the room, and you just hear a boom because I ran against the door frame. No, I just meant that like you tried to step over and you just get the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pants just rip. <laughs> <laughs> Mosey says I have a friend who measures exactly two meters <laughs> when he ran into his own door frame. I lost it. Holy shit. <laughs> I saw this guy walking into a Walmart because we were driving to the parking lot, and yeah. uh, I thought he was holding hands with his daughter or something because he was kind of like you know leaned over a little bit. And he then I was like, wait a second, he ducks under the fucking doorway to get in. I'm like, I'm like oh that's probably his Mother. girlfriend. Oh my god, she's up to his belly button. What the fuck? I know something else that goes up to your belly button. Ayo. Overalls. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do know about the Picard maneuver, right? About the what? The Picard maneuver. It's our track. Picard maneuver. Yeah. No. If you're gonna if you're gonna look it up, there's two things. That's the Picard maneuver. There's there's the oh. actual space combat move that he does. Oh. But then and, there's and the sex act like uh, Urban Dictionary. Uh, well, if you yeah, you might find an urban dictionary. The Bacar maneuver is uh, a specific way of adjusting your your shirt. Because <laughs> it was just oh, yeah, it's, it, Go on. Yeah, it's it's absolutely in the urban dictionary. Natural Travel tactic. No. Oh, you gotta be able That's to find the, the, of... the joke one. Come on. When P Captain Picard tucks the bottom of his tunic after standing up. Yep. He does it. What? He does it so casually every fucking time. I'm sure if you look up a gif, you'll you'll find it. <laughs> it it's it's that common. Wow. <laughs> the cast. All chairs. All chairs in Starfleet are specifically test engineered to be tea bagged by Riker. <laughs> That's the car maneuver. I see. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> it's he does it every time, just so casually. You're like so casually improper. I, like son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like Riker uh, stepping over chairs. Apparently, <laughs> the motherfucker. <laughs> the slight bastards. The hell. And the way he well. And the way he gets up and just on mounts backwards, like <laughs> in reverse. So good. It's like yep, yep. Yep. And nobody got time to go from the side. <laughs> I've got I've got shit to do and places to be. Fuck off. God damn it, Riker. <laughs> Commander Riker is a stallion who mounts the world. <laughs> Hey, oh. Ah, I'm okay. <laughs> God damn it. Holy shit. <laughs> the stallion who mounts the world. God damn it. That's fucking funny. <laughs> God damn it. Star Trek's uh, brilliant. The next generation is so fucking good. Mm. I wonder if that's how he mounts his women as well. <laughs> just casually just steps over them, sits down on their head. Steps, no, steps over their head, turns around, just like, all right, here we go. Oh, oh. 
I'm not gonna sit down. Why should I? I'm Jonathan Freaks. I'm tall, bitch. I'm the goddamn ah. commander, motherfucker. <laughs> and with that all being said, I am done for today. I would say, mm. that's a fantastic note to end on. You punk ass bitch. I know. Anyways, if you want to read this comic in the good old style, you can do so tomorrow at PUMcomic.com. You can also find me on Facebook and on Twitter, where you should totally follow me and my comic. Also, if you enjoyed the stream, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel, no matter where you are, Twitch, YouTube, Ricardo, you get the idea. Anyways. And remember to hit the bell. Oh, I'll hit the yeah. bell. Bell. <laughs> Yeah. And also email YouTube that you'd like to get notifications, and then also yeah, email and Team YouTube that you like to get notifications. <laughs> no, no, you don't email Team yeah. YouTube yeah, to get and, notifications. And, and you send them carry pigeons. <laughs> and got an email back. And got an email back from you from them saying "fuck you." So, no, it's also, Team YouTube of facts. So you like also, to get <laughs> with like that like that smash button. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Fucking YouTube. Anyway, that is me done for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all on Thursday. Goodbye. You say goodbye, but you're still going to be here. I am. Same here. I think I'm going to end the stream for today because my brain is not braining. Well, <laughs> less than usual, anyway. Uh, brain, has brain it, brain I was just about to say, has it ever brained properly? Um, That one I, time when... Uh, Okay, maybe that was pure luck, but uh, uh, there was this other time. Oh, no, wait, that was my cousin. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't believe you for a second. Uh, I'm pretty I'm sure sorry, the... the brain cells you're looking for cannot be found right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a moment, but I just can't think of the top of my head because I'm thinking about bicycles on penguins. No, wait. No. <laughs> One time I wrote a check by myself. I was real proud, so was my mom. She only had helped me sign my name twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy. All righty then. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for the lack of content. It's my day off, and I was like, maybe I should cut it. Nah, I gotta stay with these guys. They're gonna be lost without me. Hey, you're a hey, bro. Baby. Indeed. Anyway, I'll catch you all in a few days after my little vacation and recuperation, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace. Ah. Uh. Now, wait a minute, I could stop the stream, and we could throw out a game, perhaps. You could do that. Since we're since we're all, you know, actually done. Uh, I got Serious Sam installed, I got uh, Left 4 Dead installed. Oh, you mean a multiplayer? Yeah, sure. Um, let me just... Uh, 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 let me just uh, translate the comic real quick, and upload it, and I'll be game, boy. Alright, then I'll, I will say... Uh, Thanks for watching to all you nerds, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you!